dealing with, I'll call it poor attitude, communication, right? Personality differences, dealing with change. So taking initiative and having confidence to make decisions. Yeah, how, how do we as leaders develop trust among our team? Yeah, is there a requirement for trust back the other way too? Do any of you find that that's something that's a challenge to actually have a team that, that implicitly trusts you? And one of the things that you'll notice about these challenges, can you see a theme emerging out of those challenges? Who do they relate to? Them, the people that we're leading. Most of the challenges that we've highlighted there are about the people that we're leading. There's two components to leadership. The first is all about what he calls self-leadership. The other is, you know, team leadership. And what I'd like to do today is make sure that we get a balance between those two things. Because at least half of what we need to do to become better leaders is actually focus on ourselves and make changes ourselves so that people are inspired to follow us as compared to getting them to change. Does that make sense? Is there anything about you? Is there anything in that little checklist that you went through that you thought, oh, maybe, maybe it would be good if I could be better at? Time management, yep, yep, controlling time. Create or provide personal growth. Yeah. So we want a process that encourages development, you know, development from unreliability to reliability, development from unskilled to skilled, De development from poor attitude to, you know, great attitude. That maybe if we worked on some of the things, particularly that we could get better at, that that might end up radiating. Because Colin Powell said, you know, and you made the point um, uh, right away, that we need to sort of lead by example. So if you can be the change that you want to see in your team, then that might, might help out.